BFF for Friday because if you're not being thrilled, then what the fuck are you? It's your girl, the real Kenny Kim with two ends, and we are back with another episode. So, as today, y'all can see we have a good topic. Yeah, some topics that's gonna rattle some toes, shake some boots, and maybe question some y'all friendships because it's gonna have you questioning some months. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Y'all know y'all my dogs for life. My actual okay. Um dang, I said I was gonna stop saying um this year, huh? It's going good. Not really, but it's going good. It's not as many times as I would say it. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna say it a few more times <laughs> in this video. Okay, but we're going to get in the subject. You already know what the subject is by the title. We're talking about friendships. Yes. But before we do that, we're gonna do a quick fit check. And y'all see it's nothing, nothing too much. Something very cute, comfortable. With my little slip back, y'all see me with the slip back. And yeah, I like my dunks, y'all. I've been wanting to get these dunks for the longest so. Now that I got them, and I got a little cute, comfortable outfit when I wanna just make runs, it's so, yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna get into these questions. Let's get into the questions. And my first question we're gonna have. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna come with something whole, like a real one or like a, like something laid back. Uh, we're gonna go with. What does it mean to be a friend? And hey, y'all, when I ask these questions, I'ma answer them, but like when I'm by myself, y'all see I'm by myself today. When I'm by myself and I'm really answer, asking the questions and I'm answering them too, like on oh, my views, can y'all give me y'all views? Y'all be watching me and liking me, but y'all don't be talking to me. I'm not, the math not math to y'all. Two plus two is four, not eight. What's going on? But okay, what does it mean to be a friend? So, to me, listen y'all, to me, a friend, that's supposed to be, yo, like, let me not, okay, let me not say your person because that's not your person, but like, your friend is supposed to be somebody like, when you, when you going through it, and you feel like nobody else gonna be there, you should be able to have a friend that you feel like is your, how would y'all say? I wanna say yo, like you give me like, you can't say, would you just say yo? <laughs> y'all, I'm trying to figure the perfect word to say, to go with it. That's just supposed to be like your backbone. Let's be honest. Like a friend, I feel like a friend's supposed to be like your backbone. Like a girl you can call like, girl, I'm having a stressed out day. Come smoke a blunt with me, drink a glass of wine. Let's watch some TV. Let's laugh at a movie. Let's eat some ice cream. Like you give me that's supposed to be your, your girl. Like your ride or die, yo. You give me? Now I'm more so in, you depend on this person all the time but like if you you know if you need it they got it you know if they need it you got it like y'all supposed to support each other a friend is somebody that supports each other so a friend is somebody that if you call them and you having a bad day not saying they supposed to put everything aside and come to you but more so like i grow like i'm doing something but give me an hour and i'm on my way and we can talk about it or I'm really busy today, but girl, while I'm doing this, I put an AirPod in, girl, vent, and I give you my opinion. Or if I can't really talk, you vent, I listen, and then when I get a minute, I give you my opinion. Like, you give me, like, that type, like, I feel like people nowadays don't have friends like that. And then if you do, you find them in, like, the South. You can't find them over here. Like, it's just, it... I'm starting to steer off topic. What does it mean to be a friend? I feel like, well, I already gave y'all my point of view of a friend. I feel like your friend is supposed to be your backbone. That's supposed to be your dog, your, your ride or die. 
Okay. I'll be honest. It's hard to find some friends out here. So if y'all them people that are like uh, what I'm describing, can y'all call me? DM me? Text me? Send a pigeon? Something? I'm down to be friends. I'm a really nice person. I promise y'all. Next question. What are your views on friendship? Mm. Mm. Y'all. I might have to table that and come back. My views on friendships. Um. <laughs> yeah, we're going to table that and come back. Mm, what's next? What do you think pushes most friendships to be broken? Um, lies. Sleeping with each other people. Stealing. Because I feel like as a friend, don't steal from me. You can ask, don't steal. And it's crazy because I've had that incident in my own house. And it made me look at so many of my friends that was there that day so different because it's like when it's so many people and you don't know who did it you be questioning the whole house sometimes you be looking at your partner like did you do it like it be like that not not saying mine's whatever because if anything mine's gonna ask and if i say no she gonna chuck it up and get it her own self so <laughs> it don't matter and it's rare that we tell each other no so Cause I can see, I'm spoiled, y'all. It's okay, but no, like I feel like stealing. Um, I feel like that's okay. Because I feel like a lot, like a lot of stuff could be talked through. Like a lot of stuff could be probably mended, forgiven. But I feel like when you cheat, like if you sleep with your homegirl. Man, that's disrespectful. That I feel like you can't come back from that. If you steal something from them, you can't come back from that. Because again, like I said, why you didn't you just ask? And then if you lie to me, especially look, let me let me say, because if you lie about something small, like girl, I call you and I ask you, you got sugar in the house, and you tell me no, you really got sugar. I don't care. I'm not mad. Don't care. But if Let me give an example. Like, okay, so save me and the home girl going out, right? The home girl called me and told me, like, oh, I'm not going no more. Okay, that's fine. But then I see you on social media and you went out, and then I call, like, you try to block me from your story. You know how you know how you, you these people be. Let me not say you, cause my 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 people, y'all, my dirty horse, y'all don't do that. We don't do that. Mm -mm, we don't block nobody from the our stories. If we gonna do it, we gonna do it. And if they got a problem, then what we say, beat us up or shut the fuck up, right? okay so like and then you try to block them like right so back to the story we try to block them from the story and all that stuff right and then you still see it they still see it right and then you ask like did you go out last night and they tell you no and then you ask again and they still tell you no that right there you lying to my face because i know and then i feel like if i tell you i know that you lying to me and you still continue to lie I can't get down with you. I can't. So, them is the things that I feel like will break friendship. Like I said, anything else, I, yeah. Or, cause some friends do that. I don't know if I could go that far and do it. But you know how some friends are able to like, if they got good credit and they friend need something, like they'll put their name, like put their name on they friend stuff for them like you get me like y'all know what i'm trying to say i feel like and then they don't like so say you pay so say i was to put my name on the card note for my homegirl because she couldn't do it and i leave her to pay the bills and she don't do it you mess with my credit and you playing with my name so yeah nah. mm -mm. i feel like at that point we would have a problem and I feel like at that point we wouldn't be friends. So let's see what's next. 
Um, how do you deal with betrayal from a friend? I would say confront them. Like if your friend do something to you and you feel like it's betrayed, like betrayal, then say something. Like don't hold it back. Don't don't just chuck it up. If your friend do something, you feel like bitch, you you really betrayed my trust. Say something. And if it's too bad, then at least y'all can talk about it and let it go so that it's no bad blood. Like, if you see this person on the street, it's like, and they, like, you see this person on the street and something going on with them. It's not like a really, like, a fuck you, bitch. Like, I ain't gonna help you, but it's more so like a, okay, I'm gonna help you, but at the same time, we still not friends. Like, you hear me? You ain't gonna never turn your back on this person. But, well, no, you'll turn your... Y'all Y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Like, you wouldn't turn your back on this person, but you would more so like not deal with this person like how you would be dealing with them if they didn't betray you you get me you get me um but i feel like all betrayals talk and then if it's too much like i said just go y'all separate ways but at least try to talk it out so that it's no no bad blood i hate when people have friendships and they leave it with bad blood because it's like girl some stuff could be many like ugh, some stuff could really be many ugh um what what is your worst experience and with a uh, wait what is your worst experience you've had with a friend <sighs> y'all what am i free Ooh, that's gonna be a story time i gotta tell y'all about that <laughs> I gotta tell y'all about that. But nah, one of my friends tried to get me sold. She ain't my friend, but she tried to sell me. Tried to kidnap and sell me. Like, y'all. <laughs> it did jumped me. <laughs> y'all, y'all. I have to do a freaking story time. That's not even the worst. I didn't have a friend call the police on me. He <laughs> tried to give me a <laughs> Because I did her hair and she didn't want to pay me my funds. Yo, <laughs> I gotta do my <laughs> If y'all want the story times, let me know. But I gotta do story times on that if y'all want them. Because I, when I say these, these girls is birthed from a different cloth than me because I could never but yeah, them is my worst experiences. And like I said, them not in my worst. Like I've had other experiences with me. <laughs> Just horrible. Horrible. Um. Uh, what do you look for in a friendship? Honestly, y'all might be like, that's toxic, but I look for somebody that's like me. Like, that's like me, but not just like, 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 not just like me. I'm, I like to be inside. I like to go out sometimes, but I don't like always being outside in people's faces. I, I don't like that. So, I like to look for friends that's like that too. Like, they, they, we can go outside, you know, every, I can, I can go outside every weekend. So, every Saturday, every Friday, Saturday, I can be outside. But Monday, Sunday through Thursday, can I can I please be in the house? I like my peace. I like my quiet. I like I like to binge watch different series. I like to watch my criminal shows. I like to do all that. I like for friends that do that. I like a bitch to call me like, hey y'all, did you see what happened on this episode of this? Did you see he tried to gut? He ate her. Like I'm weird. I'm I'm sorry. I'm weird, but I like stuff like that. I'm I like friends that are like me i like people that you don't have to be a smoker i'm be honest i'm throw that out now all my friends are not smokers all my friends some of them smoke some of them stop smoking uh you don't have to drink because i have some friends who don't like drinking it just is not for them um 
but I do like people that like to have a good time, that have good vibes, like, uh, they don't like to be a mess. What in the holy field is going on? Where is this from? Huh? Y'all. My iPad possessed. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I don't like friends that aren't mess. Don't get me messed up. Like when I was younger, then okay. I used to to be in a lot of mess not a lot like a lot a lot but i used to be <laughs> in a lot of stuff but i don't like drama now i don't i do not at all i feel like when people be having drama it it just it's too much like i don't like dealing with that whole back and forth if y'all not gonna fight it out then at this point y'all just talking and i don't like all that I like oh, my friends to know how to fight. Just in case we outside at the club and somebody say something or grow you pop. I don't like poppers. Like if you sit in there and you just like to pop your mouth and you can't fight, I don't like that in a friendship. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because at the end of the day, I have a mouth on me. I have a bad mouth on me. <laughs> so I get drunk and somebody bump into me after the third bump, I'm gonna for sure say, I love how nobody in here saying, excuse me. And if somebody turn around and say, who you talking to? And I'm going to say, if the shoe fit, and her and her homegirls turn around and be like, girl, who you talking to? And my homegirls turn around and say, girl, we said if the shoe fit, and they decide they want to start throwing blows, I need to know that my homegirls <laughs> going to throw blows too. You get me? Okay. So, yeah. Those are my, um, that's what I look for in friendship. I am who I am. And if y'all don't like it, I'm be honest. Show me a different friend. Because this is what I'm used to. And this is what I like. Give me somebody that I don't... Mm. No disrespect. I don't... I'm not a person that um, really steers far from my friendships. Like, the my inner mingles. Because some friends, you know, some people have friends that... Uh, hold on. Some people have friends that are way opposites than them. And since they're way opposites, because they say opposites attract, they be like the best of friends. But me, on the other hand, I don't know why, but people that are way opposite than me, we don't attract. Like we, opposites than me never attract. I, my people that are like me are always people that I can really say like I've been the longest friends with. Like. I don't know why. Don't know why. Um, is there any friendships that are broken that you would mend? Um, honestly, I would say one or two. One of them I'm currently trying to figure out how to mend, and then the other one I really feel like I tried my best to mend it. And if they tried their best, then maybe we can mend it. But if not, then not like that it'd be it'd be suckish to lose it lose that friendship but at the same time i feel like we are all who we are and i'm not gonna kiss nobody's nobody's ass to be friends with them so yeah but any other friendships that i've lost oh, oh well not like that, but it's either they did something and I feel like we couldn't come back to it or I was just so many like time after time after time after time after time after time. After. I can't do that. I can't keep getting, 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 and getting hurt from a friendship and keep forgiving. I, huh, but, crook, let's roll. Okay, so what is the common, what are some common challenges in a friendship? So I'm gonna question my own stuff like what you mean by common challenges like and I know y'all like girl you make these questions I did and I did and did but at the same time it's still like what you mean by common challenges like 
because I don't have common challenges with my friends. Like, unless it's like, so say, like, I don't like, uh, not I don't like, but more so like, I like to have like, e not events, oh, what is it called? Okay, parties, I guess, or gatherings at my house. And I'm the person who like, I know how I am when I'm drunk. I be, I be hungry. And I know how my friends are when we're drunk. We be hungry. So it's like, I be telling my friends like, okay, I bring this bottle. Like, I got this bottle here. If y'all bring this, like, we'll make a list. Y'all bring all of what y'all want to bring. Y'all volunteer for this. And then it comes to the day and they like, oh, well, we didn't get it because we forgot or this, this. And it's like... We've been talking about this for two weeks. Like, I don't like that. I think that's a challenge for me because, especially if I'm in here cooking, like, we'll make fried chicken, spaghetti, we'll make pizza, we'll make all that stuff. And then it's like, y'all come over here, y'all eat all my food, then y'all drink my bottle, and maybe like two other friends that bought a bottle, and then y'all drink that bottle, then y'all go home, and then y'all go home, and y'all got y'all own shit at home, and now y'all drinking. I don't like that. I also don't like, uh,. I guess it's time to say, but I don't like when friends be like, um, you ask them like, oh, you want to do this? And they be like, oh, I don't got it. I don't got it. I don't got it. And then be turned up with the next person. Like, I feel like that's another thing with friends. Like, if you don't want to hang out with me or you specifically don't want to spend your money with me and you want to spend it with these other friends, then go do that. But then I hate when that friend be needing stuff or they be needing advice or they be, they be going through it with their other friends and they on your phone venting, talking about, oh, can I come over there? But it's like, you would, you just, you didn't want to be my friend 50 seconds ago, but now you want to be my friend now. Uh. Y'all, I've been having so many difficulties with my hair appointments and stuff. Because y'all know my birthday coming up. My birthday is in 25 days. And then I got a cruise coming up next week. And yes, I'm still going to put my BFFR out here. See, I'm going to see me as a whole different person because I'm getting my lashes done in a few days. So I can, can't wait. I know we're staring off topic, but my I've been, I've been talking to everybody trying to figure out my hair appointments and all of this stuff. And my field appointments, nail appointments, because y'all see, I have no nails. But, yeah, that's why I keep checking my phone, because I keep getting DM'd in text. But, um, I just want to make sure it's nothing important. But, no, so, speak of the devil and she showering, like, I just was talking about her, you heard that, but I mean, it's like I have a lot of common challenges in my friendships, like, a lot of my friendships, or either smooth or they did something to betray me. Like I said, I don't really fall out over like small stuff with my friends. But if y'all have some common challenges, let me know. Cause like I said, I don't know some. Um. It says, what are some, no, how many times, sorry. How many times does a friend have to betray you in order for you to stop being friends with this person? Like I said, I feel like sometimes it only takes one time. Sometimes it takes, for some people it takes 20. Sometimes it takes 10. But me personally, if it's one big thing that you do, then. But I normally do three. Three to five, maybe. Because it depends on the betrayal and what you did. Because some stuff I don't feel like a betrayal. Sometimes I just feel like it's you moving funny. Sometimes the person moves funny don't mean they betrayed you. I feel like betraying you is like telling a secret. Like, you feel me? Like, telling somebody a secret or... If you was talking about these two people, like, if you and your friend was talking about somebody and they went back and told them, like, I feel like that's the betrayal. Like, stuff like that. But none of my friends do that because I don't talk about my friends. If I'm going to talk about you, I'm going to say it to your face. And I got too many friends that vouch for that. You're right, Daddy. My little dirty bitch. Because I'll be telling her, tell, girl, you getting on my nerves. <laughs> like, leave me alone. And I talk to her, like, every other day. I was just on the phone her before this video. I ain't gonna put her name out there. Because she, she hate when I be putting her name in there. So, yeah. 
So, you see this time I did better than roll. I didn't say your name, but you know what I'm talking to. Um, so, well, um, oh shit, y'all. Then we on our last question. <laughs> I was not paying attention, y'all. We was just talking. Um, well, I kind of feel like these two, they tie, tied in and answered this question. But I'm going to skip that. So, no, I'm sorry. We have one more question. I realized I read the last. I'm, I'm reading them. I, be, I don't answer my questions in order. I answer them out of order. And sometimes I be forgetting to put a check mark or something by it or, like, cross it out so I remember that i asked that question but yeah so we're on the actual last question but this one is it's crazy because i kind of touched on it but i didn't like i i said it but didn't say it okay but it says do you think friendships are as important as relationships no no disrespect to your relationship no disrespect to friendships but no i don't feel like i feel like relationships and friendships hold two different weights in life i feel like your relationship shouldn't matter more than your friendship and your friendship shouldn't matter more than your relationship at the end of the day i don't i don't lay down with none of my friends i don't have intercourse with none of my friends so at the end of the day at the end of the day yeah i shouldn't if my man say you can't go do this or I don't want you going to this club because it's not safe. I'm not the person to say, oh, well, my friends, no. My friends don't feel like it's safe. I'm not going. Because if something happens, my man's going to be looking at y'all and me like you retarded bitch. I feel like you just have time set out for your friends and time set out with your relationship you don't have to always spend like every given moment with your your mans you can have time to go shopping with your girls or go to eat with your girls or shoot go skating with your girls you can do anything with your friends like and sometimes it be for me i'll be feeling like friends if your friends have a man like sometimes y'all could do double dates like okay well y'all gonna do this like let your mans meet your friend mans like maybe they can have their own establish of a friendship i'm not yeah you get me i'm not that person shoot some of my friends is friends with my mans more than they friends with me like it's just our vibes we're two different people my friend my my mans is amazing me on the other hand i'm amazing but i'm just i'm more of a closed shell she more of a open happy person not too happy don't be trying to think my man's is friendly because she's not but um i feel like relationships and friendships like i said just hold two different weights they're two different people and they do two different things your friend is supposed to be there sorry something like that your friend is supposed to be there just to have your back list have the listening area your man is supposed to do the same thing back time at the same time it's so much that your mans can do. Y'all feel like your friends can do more. And then your friends is all supposed to be there if your man start tripping. Like, if my man start cheating, I need my friends to be there to do a drive-by. Shoot both of y'all butts. No, I'm just kidding. I don't condone any violence, okay? YouTube. I don't condone no violence. Because YouTube be trying to tell me, oh, you be talking. You be cussing to my watch, like. So... But yeah, y'all, the video wasn't that long today because honestly, I have been super stressed, like beyond stressed with my birthday, Valentine's Day, this cruise. I've been spending a lot of money <laughs> and I need to stop spending all this money. Like it's sickening, but I have to get ready for my birthday. So yeah, I've been really stressed. So today wasn't really more of a, you see, we laughed some, but it was kind of straight to the point i'm gonna do better next week though y'all and i also don't feel like me right now like my hair not my hair done like you see the slip back i love my slip back so you know this is me but my hair not done my lashes not done my nails not done i don't feel like me i just 
I feel so out of body. It's just so much, y'all. But I do love y'all for still tuning in and watching me. Like I said, y'all gonna get every pit of me. And y'all see, this is a whole different me today. But yes, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell y'all mamas, tell y'all grandmas, tell y'all uncles, tell y'all uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, friends. Tell y'all uncles, grandmamas, cousins, granddaddies to come watch this video. To subscribe. And yeah, y'all, we'll see each other next episode. And if y'all don't see me next episode, I'm going to beat you up. The hell? I'm just kidding, y'all. Love you.